back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Clarice and I want to get you to consider subscribing to this channel because we got tons of great DIY projects that's coming up every single week so make sure that you subscribe and also hit that notification button so you can be the first one to see all of these awesome videos. Because it's February, I had to give you all a little Valentine DIY. This is a very popular hot item for Valentine's Day and a lot of people are seeing it online. These DIY floral bears make for amazing gifts for any loved ones. These cute bears are a must have for this Valentine's Day. So let's see how we can DIY it ourselves. I bought four packages of floral foam, but I ended up only using two of them. Make sure they're the ones that absorb water. These are just from the dollar store. I also bought these wooden dowels so that we can put the foam all together. And I cut them in different sizes just so we can attach the different parts of the bear. Now on to shaping the body parts. We are going to start off with the head because this is basically what's going to determine the size of your bear. So there's no right or wrong way to do this. You're making a circular shape and if you want the bear to have, you know, larger cheeks or if you want it to have a taller head, you can do that and customize that to whatever you want. Just make sure the depth of the bear is deep enough so that you can put the stems through it. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I want a little overboard, just shaping it a little bit more to a bear head, but that's not even going to show because you're going to cover that with flowers. Now onto the body. I used half a piece of the floral foam that we have and this is very similar to the head. You can shape it whatever way you want. If you want a wider body and if you want more flowers underneath him, you can do that as well. Or if you want a thinner bear, you can also do that. Just make sure that the depth is big enough so that the stems can go through the foam and I would say that would be about more than one and a half inches wide. Now the arms can be a little bit tricky because some people may do it too thin. Just make sure that it's big enough again so that the dowel can go through it as well as all the stems that you're going to put through with the flowers. Now the feet of this bear is going to help balance it once you have all the water and all the flowers there. So you just have to make sure that when you're carving it, the flat part is on the bottom. Now you can go ahead and do his little snout. I made it a little bit bigger than what it should be because I wanted to really stand out. I want him to look like a bear and not like a pig or a dog. So you just have to try and proportion everything so that it just all look put together. The ears are also what makes it a factor of it being a bear or it being something else. I wanted a little bit more wide and also just a little bit bigger so that you can really really tell that this little creature is a bear. So after you have all his parts, you can go ahead and take your wooden dowels that you've pre-cut and put the bear all together. Some of the spots you may want to put two or three dowels so that it's a little bit strong. I also made a little heart so we can put some nice flowers in the middle. And then what you could do is you are going to soak this guy up in water and I could have done a bigger bucket but I didn't have that so this will do for now. And while he's soaking up all that water, you can go ahead and cut your flowers. Now, this is where I made a mistake of grabbing these carnations. You can see that this just didn't work. There was just no shape in this. So I got these other flowers where you can basically stick the flower right up to the top instead of the carnations where it was much wider and a little bit harder to put through the foam. And that's basically the same thing with other flowers like roses. Roses are a little bit too big for this project, I think, for the size of this bear. And if you are going to do roses, you probably want to do the mini baby ones. And you're probably going to be needing to cut or shape a really, really big bear for it to take shape. So it's pretty easy. You just basically cover the whole bear with the flowers. I left the middle for the heart with a different color flower and I did take those carnations that I had and I didn't use the foam that we had. We just basically stuck it through and I wanted the heart to stick out so it worked out. This bear looks like a total mess right now but what you have to do is you have to trim the bear so that everything is all smooth and you can see all the features of it. It looks exactly like a real bear once you're done and again you can customize and change up the colors to what Whatever it is that you like this could be for any great occasion just like baby showers or Valentine's Day or even an anniversary present they just make for amazing great gifts 